Today's a super exciting day because today we have the new iPhone 13 Pro Max here. We're gonna unbox it and we're gonna do the first tests on it and we're gonna compare it to the iPhone 12 Pro Max to see if it's worth the upgrade. In the iPhone 13 Pro Max, we're gonna see what it looks like. We're gonna compare the case from the 12 Pro Max to see will it fit or do you need to buy a new case for it? Is there any difference in how well MagSafe accessories will fit onto the iPhone 13 Pro Max compared to the 12 Pro, can we see any difference in the brightness of the screen on this new phone? Because that is something Apple said in the keynote. And something that I find very interesting is what is the difference, if there is any difference, in the 5G connection for download and upload speed. And we're also going to do a comparison of the camera of the two, and especially if the lens flare issue has become anything better on the 13 Pro Max compared to the 12 Pro Max. And another thing that annoys me on the 12 Pro Max is that when you work with it hard and you're going to be outside, it dims the screen for you automatically and you can't brighten it up manually again. And I would like to see, will that same issue occur on the 13 Pro Max. And then finally, is it worth the upgrade? Let's get started with unboxing this new phone. When we open it up, let's see, it feels pretty lightweight and the bigness or the thickness of the case indicates of course that there is no charger inside and we know that already. And here is the phone. Look at those cameras. Oh my God, they are so much bigger than the 12 Pro Max. But if that size difference will also create such a big difference in the image quality, well, that is a nice sacrifice. I love to have a good camera on my phone because I use it a lot for content creation. So if we take this up and, oh yeah, here on this paper we can see, okay, here we have the same dials. Okay, let's see. So if we compare these two, we can see that well, it's a difference. The SIM card slot is a lot higher up on the left side of the phone on the 13 Pro Max compared to the 12 Pro Max. Also, these volume buttons and the silent toggle are also further up on the phone. On this top side, it looks about the same. On the right side of the phone, it also looks the same. And in the bottom, let me remove this protective Ooh. okay so in the bottom looks identical and we still have of course the lighting cable we don't have any USB-C yet so we still have to carry around all these different chargers so by looking at the exterior I would say that this case for the iPhone 12 Pro Max will not fit to the 13 Pro Max no exactly you can't even fit the hole for the camera see here it's, it's not going in. So, well, you can't use the case for the 12 Pro Max on the 13 Pro Max, that is for sure. And I also have the new case for the 13 Pro Max here, so we can compare those ones. And, well, looks the same. It's a little bit of a difference in here where the MagSafe is. I wonder if that can maybe do the MagSafe stick harder to the phone. We're going to test that out. Everything else looks the same and especially the feeling of the cases are the same. And I like that because I like this little bit rubberish feeling of the Apple MagSafe case so it doesn't slip out of your hand so easy. The only negative thing is that when you put it in your pocket, it can be a little bit tricky to get it up or down, but I definitely prefer that in front of losing the phone because it's slipping out of your hands. So let me power these phones up and set them up so we can do the first comparisons. So now the iPhone 13 Pro Max is now resetting from iCloud, so we're gonna get an identical copy on both phones. And if we'll take a look in this box that it came with, something that I'm impressed about is that there were no plastic this year. And I like that. No plastic, no plastic into the oceans and other places of this earth where it's not supposed to be. So thank you so much, Apple, for reducing the use of plastic. Instead, we have this recycled carton, card box, box thingy. Less plastic, that is better. And we have this charging cord. I don't honestly know why they are sending the charging cord because I have loads of those laying around also, but I guess that if there is anything that breaks, it is the cord. So thank you Apple for sending that charging cord. I'm gonna save it until the old one breaks. Okay, so now we have to turn them on. We're gonna turn on the brightness to 
max on both. And well, here we can see that that little tab on the top of the screens, I mean, that one is significantly smaller on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And we can also see that they have moved up the speaker to the top of the screen instead of being a little bit further down. So I think that Apple is working really hard on getting rid of that little tab, if, if I can say so, and I would make a guess, because why would they else already have moved up the speaker to the top? That's just my theory. Okay, when we compare the brightness of the screens, I can't see any difference at all, to be honest. One thing that I noticed, though, is that it wiggles a lot more than 12 Pro Max, so I would definitely recommend to have a case on it. And I'm gonna drop a link to both the phones and the cases in the comment box below so you can find the right one for your phone. And as I said, I really like this Apple MagSafe case. I would definitely recommend that one. Let's try out how well the MagSafe works. Let me see here, I have my MagSafe battery pack. And if I attach that one first to the 12 Pro Max, I mean, it's, it's pretty well attached. Let's compare that one to the 13 Pro Max. I, th I think actually that it's stuck a little bit harder. Well, so it's not looser at least, that is a good thing. And let's compare when we put the cases on if I can feel a difference. I would always recommend the case on because, I mean, you protect your phone, but also the MagSafe accessories I found getting better stuck just because you don't have this shiny background so it doesn't slide around that much. It's a lot better stuck. So this is, you can see, this is the difference. It's a lot better fixated on the phone when you have the case on. This is the 12 Pro Max and here is the third. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's really stuck on the phone, I like that. So now it's time for the speed test. Now I put the SIM card into the iPhone 12 Pro Max and I'm gonna go into fast.com and I'm gonna perform the test and when it's done, we're gonna reveal the result. So for the first test, we have 430 megabyte per second down and we have an upload speed of 32 megabyte per second. Why I love the upload speed is because, well, when you upload YouTube videos, takes so long time sometimes. So we're gonna do this test one more time to have uh, two time cycles. We can compare those two if it's similar or not. So for the second round, we got 530 megabyte per second down and 36 megabyte per second up. Because we have such a big difference, I'm gonna do the test one more time. So this third and last trial, we had 530 megabyte per second down again, the same as previous one, and 36 up. So that was identical test with the second one. So now let's move over the SIM card to the 13 Pro Max and see what speed we get from that one. So the first round is done and we're getting a speed that is higher than the 12 Pro Max. We got 560 megabyte per second down and 48 megabyte per second up. That is a really good improvement, especially the up speed, the upload speed. Let's do the test one more time. Oh my God, the second round is done and it's just crushing the 12 Pro Max. We got up to 630 megabyte per second in average download speed and 41 megabit per second for upload speed. And that is, that is, that is really cool. Let's do a third and last round also on this phone. So the download speed is down, the upload speed is down, we are crushing the 12 Pro Max. We have 590 megabyte per second down and 49 megabyte per second up and just for these seconds, we just dump down a half gigabyte of data. It's just, it's just amazing. And the good thing in Sweden is that I have unlimited data. So it's not like when I'm in Canada, because my second half is from there, it's, oh, we have unlimited data, but after 200 megabyte, you're gonna get a speed reduced to 0 0.02 megabit per second. But here we have unlimited data. So it's, it's really, really cool. You can really use this one. So an average of the speed is that for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, we have 497 download and 35 up. And for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, we have 597 three down and 46 up. So we're talking about 100 megabyte per second difference in download speed and about 
10 megabit per second difference in upload speed. So the speed difference is just marvelous. It's just amazing. I did not expect this. We're going to test the lens flare and see if we have the same issue on also that phone. Let's see what the time it is. So the sun is soon going to get up. So I'm going to go outside and do that test. Before that, I'm going to try the screen brightness dimming. If the 13 Pro Max will dim down the screen brightness the same way as the 12 Pro Max. And for doing that, we're going to use the Antutu benchmark test. So we're going to start this test. And now we are running. Oh, the 13 Pro Max is faster, that is for sure. It's a lot faster. Oh my god, the 13 Pro Max is just beating the crap out of the 12 Pro Max. Oh. Did the 13 Pro Max dim down? I think it just dimmed down a little bit, didn't it? Oh, now the 12 Pro Max dimmed down. I can see a clear difference between the 13 Pro Max and the 12 Pro Max, where the 13 Pro Max is so much brighter than the 12 Pro Max. Oh, now it dimmed up again, the 12 Pro Max. Now the 13 Pro Max dimmed down. So the tests are done and the app from 13 Pro Max were done so much earlier than the 12 Pro Max. And we can just see the score difference here as well. For me, it doesn't really tell me so much what these numbers mean. But I can see that all the figures are so much higher on the 13 Pro Max. As far as I can see so far, the screen dimming issue is not a big difference between these two phones. So I have to get back to you about that when I have tested more truly if I discover any difference. So let's go outside and see if I can see any difference when it comes to the lens flares. So the thing is, it starts getting bright now, but I think I have a little possibility at least to try it against this really strong light fixture up here. So I'm gonna hold the phones like this and I'm gonna try it out. Start, start. Let's try the wide angle. And let's try the telephoto. So don't upgrade to the 13 Pro Max because of the lens flare, because I, as far as I can see, it's almost identical. Just editing maths here. I just realized when I brought these videos into the computer that there is actually less lens flare on the iPhone 13 Pro Max compared to the 12 Pro Max. I'm gonna do a more in-depth video about the lens flare, but that's for another video. So back to the video again. But there is one thing that is an amazing difference. And I've been playing around with the 13 Pro Max now for about a day. And there is one thing that just blows my mind more than anything else. And that is, so here we have a picture I took yesterday. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the colors and everything. But that is not what I would like to show you. Look at this image. That is, that is so freaking cool. Look at that micro footage. This is just, I can't believe it. This is what I took with the ordinary lens and then I just, it just blows my mind. And here's another pretty picture I took of two old couple that was sitting here on the bench. And look at this one. Look at this picture. Look at, it's just amazing. You can't get this with anything else. Look at this wasp. You can see all the hairs, you can see everything, and the wasp wasn't even sitting still. It was moving around and I managed to capture this image. I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just blown away that you can do this with an iPhone, a small portable phone that is even hard to do with a big mirrorless camera. It's just mind blowing. So if you haven't found any other reason to upgrade to the iPhone 13 Pro Max, this is a reason because this is, this is just amazing. Let me find another picture for you. Look at this image and look at the details. Do you know what this is? 
This is one of those small thin strings that ties up the football net in soccer. And you know, they're not thicker than this maybe, but on this image it looks like it's a big freaking rope. And here is another image from a flower. You can just see, it's just amazing. This is a chocolate ball <laughs> and those flakes on top of it. It just opens up these possibilities. This is a straw that I just took handheld. And you can see, you think the straw, the end of the straw is smooth, but it's not, it's very, very choppy. And here, this is also remarkable. This is, I don't know the name of that flower, it's a maskeros. And then we switch over to the micro lens. Look, it's just, you can even see this little creep that is creeping around there. It's, I can't believe it's... And here is on the football net again. Those thin strings that are tying together this football net. This, it's, it is mind blowing. So, well, do I recommend this phone? Hell yeah, sorry. Do I recommend this phone? Yes, I haven't even had possibility to try out the cinematic video mode yet, that is coming up for a later video. But so far, this first impression, it's faster, the screen is a little bit better, the battery time is a little bit better, but this micro footage capability, that is... It's mind-blowing. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next one. Over and out from Sweden. Bye.